Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, March 2020, a different arcade machine game on my channel, emulated by my gaming Ryzen PC. So today's game is Daytona USA. This is by AM2, it's another Sega Model 2 game I believe. And uh, yeah, so this is from Sega 1994. This went on later to go to the consoles, so it was noticeably uh, uh, first on the Sega Saturn I believe. And uh, yeah, I'm playing the Japanese one, but uh, yeah, it's still the same same on the uh, English version, So, uh, except for the Japanese text of course. So uh, let's insert some coins and let's get on with it. I've inserted some coins, so uh, yeah, we've got short, medium or long. I'll go for short. Where do you choose? Right, okay, so short. Hmm, okay, so automatic transmission. Gentlemen, start your engines. It's good, gentlemen, start your engines. As you can see, this is Daytona. So you've got a choice of different views. You've got this view, got like sort of internal view. You've got this far further away one, and this one. So yeah, and this one as well. So yeah, this is a very faster paced uh, arcade racer by Sega. The flame, the flame rate is very fluid and excellent. The Sega Saturn version was a little bit ropey, but it was still good. It was still very fun to play. There's a lot more pop-up on the Sega Saturn version, but this is the arcade. Detail in the graphics is very good for the time. The uh, new age of polygon, the textured map polygon games. Watch out for the other drivers right here. You can actually pit in as well. I'll do that now to show you. So you can see that the car's slowing down. I think there's a couple of slight artifacts on this emulated version, but they're not present on the original arcade. You can see the, the guys are doing the pit work, changing the tyres. There we go, and the wheels. So yep, yeah, it's got the uh, famous data and the music in the background. There we go. So we've got the different views. It's a bit harder to control in my opinion than Sega Rally yesterday's game, but it's still, it's still good, really good, really fun to play. So we've got Gallop, Hornet. By class Hornet on the back of the car. So yeah, here we go. So these sort of arcade races were from back in the day. Are you fuck? Whoa, where did he come from? Are you Bruna? Check your position. Oh shit, we're going to die. Oh, you please. 40th. 40th. <laughs> so, yeah, game over. Right, okay, so I'm going to try... No, I don't want to do that. Let's try uh, the service menu and... Uh, uh, game system. Yeah, so you've got a service menu on here. So I'm going to try a different course this time. I'm going to try long. So we'll have a different car. No, we'll have the same car. The automatic. Gentlemen, start your engine. So as you can see, this is the other track, another track on the game. 
And they're underway. So yeah, the graphics are really good. The gameplay is really excellent. Uh, really fun to play. Good in the arcades because you've got your sit-down cabinet with your steering wheel. I think some of, some of them are multiplayer as well, where you have two players, two cabinets next to each other. I think maybe some of them are even four player, I'm not sure. I can't remember. So yeah, the, the black sings the song. What are you for? What are you booner? So I just flew across it right now. The car's a bit damaged as you can see. You do get sort of damage representation on the game, which is quite unique for a game of this age. See my uh, bonnet is crumpled a bit, and the car's shaking a bit now. Not surprised after that massive smash. And we're going down the town now. See the nice blue skies. Yeah, so excellent game on the arcade machines right now. And uh, yep, yeah, so that's Daytona. And I'm going to give Daytona a nice. Uh, 9 out of 10, absolutely superb. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.